Charlemagne the God, who surprisingly gave props to a Trump campaign ad targeting Kamala Harris. Let's watch. That ad they was running during oh, the football man. games this weekend claiming the vice president supports funding gender transition surgeries for all prison inmates and migrants in the U.S. That was nuts. That, that I don't, was. I don't know if it I was. I would say nuts, but nuts that was crazy. Was, that, was, that was funny. I don't, know, I don't know if it was the <laughs> backdrop of football, but when you hear the narrator say Kamala supports taxpayer-funded sex changes for prisoners, that one line, I was like, hell no, I don't want my taxpayer dollars going I to that. I definitely see that she did That it. ad was effective. Kamala took a picture with a transgender. <laughs> and it was... It was this is what they were saying that it made it seem like Kamala supports transgender sex changes in jail with our money. That's what they, that's what it came yes, across. Yeah, that, that, that what they're saying. That yes. was yes. It said it literally said uh, that Kamala supports taxpayer funded sex changes for prisoners, and it talks about how you know uh, uh, she she supports funding gender transition surgeries for all prison inmates and migrants in the United States. That ad was impactful. I was like, it, like it was. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, damn. Was it because it was during football? I would not oh, have paid what? that. I don't think I would have paid that commercial no attention if it was any other time but when you're watching football <laughs> and you just mind you just what the, what the hell in between well, big commercials they give you this this is the trump ad that shocked charlemagne to god let's watch kamala supports taxpayer funded sex changes for prisoners surgery um for prisoners uh, for prisoners every transgender inmate in the prison system would have access it's hard to believe, but it's true. Even the liberal media was shocked Kamala supports taxpayer-funded sex changes for prisoners and illegal aliens. Every transgender inmate would have access. Kamala's for they, them. President Trump is for you. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Trump's team masterfully used Kamala Harris's past support for taxpayer-funded transgender surgeries for inmates. Now, here's where we stand. Why should hardworking Americans foot the bill for such procedures in prison? This isn't about rights. It's about financial responsibility. Charlemagne's reaction was telling. Even he, typically more aligned with the left, recognized the ad's effectiveness because it strikes at the heart of fiscal conservatism. This ad highlights a critical issue, the overreach of government spending. We're not against individual rights or freedoms. But there's a line where personal choice ends and public responsibility begins. Taxpayers shouldn't be funding non-essential medical procedures for inmates. This isn't about trans rights, it's about where our tax dollars go. Charlemagne praising this ad? That's interesting. It shows even voices from the left can see when a political message hits the mark. He's right about one thing. This isn't just about the policy, but how it's presented. The Trump campaign tapped into the frustration of everyday Americans over government waste. This ad isn't just about Kamala Harris, it's about voter strategy. Trump's aiming to keep his base fired up and possibly sway those in the middle who care deeply about fiscal responsibility. It's a smart move, playing to conservative values of limited government and personal responsibility. Charlemagne's endorsement might raise eyebrows. It also opens a dialogue on what policies truly represent the will of the people. This ad isn't just about one issue. It's a symbol of the broader fight for fiscal responsibility, limited government, and personal accountability. If you resonate with this perspective, hit that like button, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. We need your voice in this crucial conversation about the future of our nation.